Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we took the, uh, where we kept the title here uh, for the repeat in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm showing the 2007 uh, Mazda MPV that just came in. It's got 82,000 kilometers on it, which is about 51,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, uh, stop on by or contact me and we'll, uh, we'll answer anything you have. Now this uh, Mazda MPV is a A passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're gonna take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now we do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you wanna put something down, reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Two things I wanna show you before we go inside. First one being the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way for rains. It's not gonna get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, it's gonna give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You gotta keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, um, you can buy yourself a dash cover, or if you wanna keep it simple, go ahead and get yourself a, a larger size bath towel or a beach towel, lighter in color, and put that across. So with that, let's jump on inside. Like I said, it's just coming in. It's gonna be a little dirty. Not, not too, too bad, but key fob on your person. You're just gonna crank this over as if the key was in there. Okay. <clears throat> now, if this key fob battery dies, you are able to take this out like a regular key, and this just pops off, and you insert it in there like a regular ignition. Oh, uh, turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. Take this in here. 82,034 on the odometer. Uh, let me lower this fan just a little bit. I'll show you a couple of the warning lights. That one right there is your emergency brake. This one's a kick tight. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Uh, that one, obviously, your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And that uh, orange circle down there uh, is the fuel one. Obviously, I just said it's come, it just came in, so it doesn't have fuel. We're gonna put some in there. All right, other than that, very uh, simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over, find out what it is, take the immediate action. Off the left here, you have a, a little display. It's going to show you the, uh, the air conditioning settings and the time. Your radio, this one, does have a rear camera. Your air conditioning uh, controls, little uh, uh, shelf here for storage and whatnot. You have your uh, shifter, ashtray, lighter down here. Uh, above the glove box, you have a uh, compartment for storage. And this guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. Works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then you have the glove box itself. And then a little bit, and it looks like it has a USB. A little bit of uh, storage and cup holder on each door panel. Okay, that is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out over there. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable driving here, but in emergency, maybe uh, I can still slide it up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. And it does have the armrest, and it also has a center console here. It's going to give you two cup holders and a cup holder for your third passenger in the second row. And there is a lever here that you can just pull up towards you, and it uh, does go out of the way, okay? And then it does have a compartment for your sunglasses. All right, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Go all the way back. Now, normally there's a time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on other cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. 
We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that'll try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. All right, I'll show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. Now this does say camera. I looked on that uh, mirror and it does have a, a side camera, but it might be a setting inside the radio that I can't uh, get to. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at it. I can't guarantee that we're gonna get it to, uh, to work because this looks like it was uh, done after after the uh, vehicle was built because normally they have it right over here. So we'll try to get it fixed. I can't guarantee it, okay? Then on the right side here, it does have dual power sliding doors. Underneath that, you have a little compartment for coins or whatnot. And then down here, please don't forget, you take out two levers. The one on the left is your gas, or the one on the right is your gas cover release. Please don't forget that one. And your hood release. On the door panel, you have your mirror, window, and door lock controls all right here. So let's turn this thing off and let's head to the middle row. So all you're going to do is just pull this one time. It's going to beep and it's going to go out of the way. Now you see it does have uh, the rail system here. So you are able to slide this forward depending on how much space you need. All right. So somebody was relaxing and reclining here. Like... All right. So it does have, where is it? There it is. So it does have this little lever. So you can try to pull it. Of course, I can't go all the way or my knees are going to be uh, smashing there. I'm going to keep it all the way back just to show you how much space you'll have. Okay. All right. So with it all the way back, I'm a good uh, about six inches away from the back seat to my knees. Each seat back does have pocket storage. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And also on the driver's side, you do have this grocery bag hook up to four kilograms, which is about four and a half. I'm sorry, about eight and a half pounds. Okay. And then you do have the uh, air conditioning controls. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, the air conditioning controls right here that controls the fans. And it does have vents that go all the way back. <laughs> Excuse me, I knew there was something. Maybe the dust. And you want to make sure these fans or these vents are facing the right way. So you want the middle ones to face the middle row. The back ones should not be facing the middle row. It should be facing the back. So you're going to cool down the car a lot quicker. Okay. Um, now, I said this was the... Uh, third cup holder for your third person. Now there is a cup holder on each sliding door. Okay. Now, so where's the third uh, seat? There is a lever over here that you pull up. Let me see if I can reach it. And that's going to slide this over. Okay. Now it's a three, three passenger bench seat. Okay. Or you can leave it over there and you, you can have it separate. It does have armrests as well. All right. It also does have this one right here, a button for uh, the door. So you're going to put it down and that's going to slide forward. And I did uh, forget to show you, there is a leg rest. It's basically for the kids. You know, no adult's going to be able to use the leg rest. So here's your rear space as well. And you have this uh, deep pocket right here for storage. Now this one does not have a spare tire. So if you've been watching my videos, you, you'll know that this has a tire repair kit. I'm not a big fan of those because if, those, if you get a uh, blowout, that tire repair kit's not going to do you any good. And then that's your rear space. Okay, this is obviously reclined too much, but that's your rear space. And you have two cup holders over here, a cup holder over here, and a little bit of storage. Okay. Let's go to the front here, show you the engine compartment. I'm going to wrap this video up. All right, there you have it. It's a 2.3 liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. What I say? All right, so there you have it. 2007 Mazda MPV, 82,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 51,000 miles. Military price is down to 5,100. With additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,900. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 4,900 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's These Cars at a show we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. You as dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.